This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! And guess. There was no report of a guard being attacked by an animal. However, we did hear that a guard's uniform was stolen. Putting two and two together, I'd say this was a disguise. For the purpose of a prison escape. Oh, maybe D Disguised as a guard? That sounds like it could have been a successful, sir. Huh? Speaking of prison escapes... Indeed, that person certainly was successful. We were all under the impression that the person in this video was Knightley. But it's his cell, after all. Why wouldn't it be anybody else? That line of logic is no longer holding. Remember the tunnel under his bed? It's possible whoever used this tunnel is the one in the video. It seems it's time to answer that question. Just who is the person in this video? The person in this video is... It was you, Judge Courtney! It was Red Harry! What? The person in the video is really them. It's the only possibility. <laughs> no, it's not! <laughs> ah! I was mistaken. <laughs> Can't I can't blame her for getting mad about yeah. that one. <laughs> you see a bear in the video. Yeah, like, come it was on, Elber. Let's not be an idiot. The person wearing the guard's uniform is the escaped prisoner Jay Elbert. The probability is extremely high. His pet is a polar bear cub. That's why he wanted to lose 20 pounds, because he had so much muscle, he's like, I gotta look like these wiry prison guards that sound like wimps. <laughs> <laughs> but but the, the bear here is black! We have evidence that can explain this matter. But, boom! The reason it's the polar bear became black together. is. Think back to Frank Sott's testimony. Oh, I just love rubbing animals with mud. <laughs> that's the rubber glove I dropped. Where did the mud on this glove come from? Ah! That's the mud from my mud packs. At the time, I was practicing applying my mud packs. Could you tell me when this took place on the day of the incident? <laughs> Since the animal show had started, I'd say it was around 9 a.m. The mud packs turned the animal's bodies pitch black, and my heart was pure white. I was totally engrossed of covering the animals in mud. <laughs> <laughs> During the animal show, Mr. Salt was applying mud packs to the animals. So then, among those animals... Was this polar bear? Yes. Prosecutor Edgeworth. Ooh, I'm tired. We've been recording for a while. There's a huge contradiction in your argument. The security camera footage. Just shut up. Judge Courtney, you are quite right. Saw it used the mud packs during the animal show. Knowing this, a new contradiction in the video comes to light. A new contradiction? Okay, do you know when this footage was taken? Uh, it was after the mud packs were used. That would put it around 9 a.m. In that case, you should notice something strange about this video. Oh, what's strange about it? This strange thing that contradicts the time the video was taken was... Do, 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 do. Oh, do time. The time saw it covered the polar bear in mud was around 9 a.m. Which means this video should also have been taken at 9 a.m. However, the timestamp reads 6 a.m. On that day, the prisoners went to the courtyard to watch the animal show. At this time, only three people remained behind. Dogen in the special cell, Sot in the workroom applying his mud packs, and the one who put his escape plan in motion at that moment, Jay Elbert. Elbert left the polar bear in Sot's care and entered the secret tunnel. Oh, He's adorable. However, the bear escaped from Sot and followed after its owner. And just as he was chasing after the escaped bear, Sot happened to witness... The dog pulling the murder weapon out of the body. Ugh, that's a weird CG. <laughs> he does look like the Joker. If Sot's testimony is correct, this video must have been taken at around 9am. However, the timestamp is off by three hours. Why would the timestamp be off like that? Detective Gumshoe, I'd like you to examine the security camera. 
Dogen's like, I am having just a great day today. So, <laughs> so much hard? entertainment. Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. I asked all the guards and... Military time? It seems the camera's power was cut off for a moment, throwing off the timestamp. Um, even in military time, because it's AM, it would still it be would 9. It would still be 9, you're right. What? The camera's an old model, so if it loses power, the clock stops as well. In that case, this means the camera's power was cut for three hours. We're still getting more evidence! <laughs> While I'm at it, I've got some more information for you, sir. You heard that Knightley denied stealing the key, right? It seems nobody would believe the words of a criminal, but... Knightley testified I was knocked out, too. That may not be necessarily a lie. My, 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 there you all are. She's with two guards. Yeah! Making progress in your investigation. Can I be of any help? Actually, Warden Roland, there is something we must report to you. The escaped prisoner, J. Elbert, is most likely still inside the prison. He has disguised himself... As an alligator! Here is the proof. He's wearing an alligator costume. <laughs> Roar! I'm kidding, but that would be hilarious. <laughs> the person visible in the security video is Elbert. So perhaps he's still in this very building. Just them are talking. Come to think of it, didn't Mr. Elbert have a bracelet like the other prisoners? The bracelet would have been concealed under the uniform sleeves. Moreover... The prison's main gate does not have a sensor to detect bracelets. All he would have to do is avoid any doors with sensors inside the prison. That's right. So if he didn't enter the cells or the workrooms, could one of you guys be J. Elbert? Ah, oh, Rocky! S stop it! What are you doing? It would seem that Rocky has answered that question for us. No! Rocky! This is all your fault! The little guy loves you so much, it's enviable. Right then, seize him at once. Wait, there's something we must hear from this prisoner. It's necessary if we are to find the truth. I'd like permission to interrogate him. Understood. He doesn't have any hair, how would he have pulled that off? What do you want out of me? Albert's escape route is linked to Knightley's cell, so it's highly likely he knows something about the crime. I'd like to ask you about the day of the body was found. Look at them eyes. When the body was found. So it was you guys? You were the ones who found my secret tunnel! It took me ages to dig that! The day the body was found was the day I had planned to escape. I was in disguise. Then Rocky followed after me. But he was all covered in mud. I panicked and returned to my cell. Damn! If only you guys hadn't shown up! If only Knightley hadn't died! You say you dug the tunnel? What did you use to dig it? Oh, that. Just hammers and spoons. Stuff like that. I bought them from the supplier, but it was all for nothing! <laughs> no need to lose your temper. There's always next time. On the day of the incident, it's possible that Elbert met Knightley while he was alive. I'll have to listen to his testimony carefully. We'll play logic chess. And it plays the awesome met music. So it was you guys. Do, 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 do. You shut up! What's with that hold it, punk? You say you dug What's it to you? You know how long it took me to dig that? I had to beg the supplier for those tools! Day after day I slaved away! Give me back my hard work! Give it back, you son of a- I can't get a word in edgewise! You can't just go around discovering people's holes! That sounds dirty. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Okay. So you dug the hole alone? You're damn right I did! Could a tunnel like that really be dug by one person? Wow! Such a wasted effort. A kid like you wouldn't understand. Never rely on others. Never let others see you. Those are the rules we live by in here. Well, as a great thief, I kind of see where you're coming from. Kay, don't agree with him. Oh no, I was just joking. Well, I wasn't. Damn, why did it come to this? The day the body was found was the day I planned to escape. I was in disguise. 
Did you obtain the guard's uniform from the supplier, too? Yeah! That's right. Seems like he got it by threatening a guard. That guy went and stole it from someone's locker. So, when you went through the tunnel, you were already dressed like a guard. No. To ensure that the clothes wouldn't get stained with mud, I carried them with me. Once I got out of the hole and changed clothes, getting out of the cell doors was simple. And that's when Rocky ran up and jumped on me. That must be the moment the security camera captured. I see. Could you add that to your testimony? Once I got out of the hole and changed clothes, getting out of the cell doors was simple. Getting out of the cell door was simple, you say? Yeah. Compared to going through the tunnel, it was very simple. You inhabit a prison, yet you seem to know the layout of the detention center quite well. But what's so wrong about that? Sure, I've been to the detention center too. In that case, he should have known about it from the start. When Knightley was in his cell, the door would have been locked. Which means there was one piece of evidence Elbert needed to escape. Then Rocky followed after me. He did need the key. When did you first realize he was following you? When I got out of the tunnel. Just when I thought I pulled it off. Damn! Didn't you notice anything when you entered the tunnel? He wasn't there at the time. I knew he would follow me if he, he was around. This is my chance! I fought. Just my luck. Damn it! Such harsh words. Poor Rocky. I can't help it! Today was his fault, too! Just like yesterday, always clinging on to me! He looks so sad. He was all covered in mud, so I returned to my cell. You didn't consider just making a run for it? I would've if I could, but the mud would've given me away. And it's not like I'd get another chance like this. So I had to proceed with caution. In the end, he was exposed by his own bear. It's possible that Elbert met Knightley before he died. I should listen to his testimony carefully and review the evidence. Yeah, you needed his keys, bro. You say it was simple, getting through the cell door? Yeah, that's right. You got a problem with that, huh? Even though you managed to arrive at Knightley's cell, opening the door wasn't so simple. How did you intend to unlock the cell door? Jay Elbert, you had the key to Knightley's cell. I ain't got nothing like that. Th that's it. It was open. It was already unlocked when I got there. Indeed, the cell was vacant after Knightley's death, which is why... At the time we conducted our investigation, it was unlocked. Your successful escape attempt occurred after Knightley's death, so the door would have been open. However, you had tried to escape once before then. The plan was foiled thanks to Rocky! The video shows it! Yes, that was during the animal show, before Knightley's death was known. And the cell door was locked, because no one knew he was dead. Without the key to Knightley's cell, your escape would not have- it would have been impossible. Gah! That means it can't be. It's exactly what you think. In the case of the stolen key, the culprit is... J. Elbert. You were the one who attacked the guard, weren't you? Wow. The guard and Knightley too, in order to steal the cell key. It wasn't me! I don't know any Knightley! This is like an intricate case. Yeah, like, it's very intricate. After stealing the key, you returned to your cell as a precautionary measure. Then, you waited for a time when the prison would be mostly vacant. And, oh, and that's why the, the guard is, like, in the hospital, because he's an ex-boxer, so he could do some serious damage. Yeah. That was just before Knightley's death became known. In other words, during the animal show. But in the end, the plan was foiled thanks to Rocky. Don't screw with me! If you don't have evidence, I still win by decision! Besides, it was that nightly guy who attacked the guard, right? I think not. Regarding the theft of the keys, Knightley was the victim. This proves Knightley was the victim who was attacked in his cell.
I actually forget. You forget? I don't. I've only played this game once, and I haven't seen any let's. Or I've seen like one let's play of it. Because most people don't play a fan translated. Yeah. You play in the original Japanese, so you have to figure out the kanji. <laughs> that would be so bad. That would be so bad. I would like try to do that and fail. Oh, small bruises on his head. That's right. Does this really prove it? But it should, of course. If you say so, then I get the feeling he was definitely the victim. Uh, per Prosecutor Edgeworth, this evidence proves nothing. Huh? Really? I, I knew that. No! It's not easy to fool Judge Courtney. <laughs> I have to remember the state of Knightley's cell. I have to show what happened between those two. Is it the page? As I thought, you don't have proof, do you? There is the blood stains on the floor. Oh, is that it? Oh, yeah. Whoops. Okay. I'm dumb. No, you're not. <laughs> in Nightly Cell. Yes, I am, because I played this before. You're way smarter than me in with other stuff. In Nightly Cell, there were traces of his blood, which had been wiped away. Oh, if we ever did, like, a blind Ace Attorney game, oh, you, you'd see how stupid I am. <laughs> Artie, to... <laughs> I was literally the one who was like, I bet Lot of Heart shot off a gun to shoot off a gun, and then Von Karma came out of the lake in a gory costume <laughs> and killed him. Yeah, that but you've me. also been right about a lot of stuff. Yeah! This kind of stuff. It's he, cool. He had traces of his blood, which had been wiped away. I believe this is more than enough proof that Knightley was attacked in his cell. You attacked those two people and stole the key, didn't you? Whoa. Damn! I never thought you'd find the blood stain I wiped away with the newspaper. Why would you go through all the trouble of wiping the blood stain? On the hands of Knightley and the guard, there were obvious signs of a scuffle, you know. If the blood stains were uncovered, they'd find out there was another attacker! And if anyone looked around the bed, the tunnel I dug would be discovered! So you were trying to buy more time for your escape attempt. But I'm afraid to say, your plan still ended in failure. Now then, hand over the keys to Knightley's cell! No. <laughs> oh. That was a painful breakdown. He lost some teeth in that one. Now they're back. No way. That's a mouth guard. How can an amateur like you knock me out? Here. I got the keys right here. Nightly cell key data returned. <laughs> Hold it. If you have that key, then that means... That's right, Judge Courtney. You reasoned that Nightly stole the key and used it to leave his cell. From there, he entered Mr. Key's cage and was moved to the workroom. However, the very foundation of that hypothesis has collapsed. Woo! Ah! No! That wasn't a British breakdown. <laughs> For me. For me. I see. In that case, there was only one person who could have moved nightly. The criminal must have been someone who knew about the secret tunnel. Hey! Are you suggesting? Jay Elbert, you're under arrest, pal! W wait I didn't do nothing! Sure, I knocked out those two guys, then I stole the keys. And after that, I waited for the perfect time to enter that guy's cell. But the cell was empty then! There was no dead body either! And also, how could I have gotten into the workroom? I couldn't even leave my own cell, right? It's true, you only have the key to Nightly cell. But, there's also Dogen's dog. What? It'd be possible for the dog to carry the body from the cell to the workroom. I see. So you're saying there was an accomplice. The crime would have been possible if Elbert and Dogen were working together. It's perfectly plausible. Somehow Elbert managed to carry Knightley's body to his own cell. And then the dog must have carried it to the workroom! Yes, because all the animals can move freely in the prison. But that's not the case for the path between the detention center and the prison. Aren't there regular guards? The only one who could have used that route was you, J. Elbert. What if there was another route that you didn't know about? Hmph. <laughs> there couldn't have been. The tunnel is a straight path, is it not? Yeah, seems like it. I didn't have enough time to dig any more than I did. I only dug halfway up the corridor. What? You mean to say that you didn't dig the entire tunnel? When I got to that cell, the tunnel was already there. There was a tunnel linking my cell to the well. Looking down the well from the courtyard, there's no mistaking it. 
There's, they've always been connected. I just continued the tunnel with my digging. Uh... What was that hole doing there in the first place? Who knows? Maybe another inmate dug it in an attempt to escape. Or maybe the animals dug it. Maybe they wanted to drink from the well. That's highly doubtful. There's no water in that well anymore. It's all dried up. Huh? Wait a minute. That's it. For some reason, that well gave off a nice scent. A nice scent? I don't know what it was, but it smelled sweet like candy. This scent. I believe we've come across it before. We know this scent from... The Bolt Cake. Knightley's body was giving off a sweet candy-like scent. We used a police dog to track that scent. And that led us to discover the tunnel. By any chance, could this be the same scent as the well? Prosecutor Edgeworth, I know what you're trying to say. That the scent proves the body was carried down through the tunnel. Exactly. And... J. Elbert, you are the only one who could have used the tunnel. Thank you. Mr. Elbert, I'm very grateful to you. At last, at last the truth comes to light. Mr. Elbert, wouldn't it be wise to confess now? To being an accomplice, I mean. Don't tell me even you suspect me too! Judge Courtney, it seems you and I have come to the same conclusion. Not at all. Our thoughts on this matter are still quite different. Mr. Elbert was certainly an accomplice. But an accomplice to Horvus Knightley. What do you mean? Mr. Elbert did not move the body. He simply lent the victim his keys. What? It would seem Mr. Elbert did indeed strike Mr. Knightley on the head. However, Mr. Knightley was not knocked out. The two must have made a little negotiation. Negotiation? For Mr. Knightley's escape plan to work, he would have needed the keys to his cell. So Mr. Elbert stole them from the guard. On the other hand, for Mr. Elbert to escape, he needed to get the Mr. Knightley's cell. But if Mr. Knightley had seen him and yelled, the plan would have gone down the drain. And so, they negotiated. I, I didn't negotiate nothing! Oh, you still intend to deny it. I see. So, in other words, we're back where we started. Mr. Elbert opened the cell door and Mr. Knightley entered Mr. Key's cage. And then he was moved into the prison. There are so many, like, little things in this case, like the escape route and, like, the different people having different goals. We don't goals. get the benefits of being a prosecutor where it's just like, you're stupid. Here's the little, little thing that destroys your entire, like, thought process. <laughs> 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 that makes absolutely no sense. I win. <laughs> oh, of course! Oh, no, he's he's the power. <laughs> of course, and then he was killed in the prison workroom. Weren't you listening? The scent on the body shows it must have been moved through the tunnel. Knightley was moved from the detention center through the tunnel. Please wait until someone is finished before speaking. I do not claim that he wasn't moved through the tunnel. What? Y you don't The scent shows that the body was moved through the tunnel. However, that does not mean it came from the detention center. What do you mean? That sure sounds like a contradiction to me. Isn't there one more possibility? The well in the courtyard. It's possible the body was dropped down from there. The courtyard! Ah! The well in the courtyard! Mr. Keys carried the court. Mr. Courtney. Mr. Courtney. <laughs> Mr. Courtney. Mr. Courtney! Just Mr. slow down Keys a little. Mr. Keys carried the cage not to the workroom, but to the courtyard. Mr. Knightley was killed in the courtyard, and his body was dropped down the well. During the animal show. He didn't come out for his bow. <laughs> <laughs> and then the body at the bottom of the well was moved by Mr. Dogan's dog. Bottom of the well from Zelda has a whole new meaning now. Yep. This is so complicated. Now, there's one thing I'd like you all to remember. Before the body was discovered, what was happening in the courtyard? The 
animal show, right? Regina and Simon were there. Wait, Simon? Ah! I see you understand. Who then dropped the body down the well? Regina. Judge Courtney. She's a tough opponent. Regina's just like. <laughs> <laughs> after after her dad died, she just kind of went off the deep end. She's that would be so such a great twist. <laughs> I would love that. Her flexible way of thinking enables her to adapt and come up with her own deductions. Mr. Knightley was not carried to the workroom, but to the courtyard. And Mr. Keyes was off stage for 15 minutes. He has to come back! This was when he dropped Mr. Knightley down the well. In front of the audience, and no one saw ba -ba -da -ba -psh! Yeah! Wow, that was great effects, guys. Simon's wow. like, can we move the curtain over here, please? Okay. <laughs> it's as simple as that. This is so long. I'm sorry. I thought this was only going to be an hour. This will be free videos. <laughs> Judge Courtney, your reasoning is sound. I'll admit that. There are a few parts of this game where it's like, the, the, the time between the to be continued is insane. Like, there's one in case five where it's like five hours between to be continued. Case five is super long, <laughs> but super what good. The heck? However, let's say the body was dropped down the well. That didn't have to be done during the show. It could have happened at a different time. Unfortunately for you, Mr. Prosecutor Edgeworth, that is not possible. What? When the show started, Mr. Elbert was in the tunnel on his way to the cell block. Oh, she's saying it happened before the show. Mr. Elbert, at that time, did you happen to see a body in the tunnel? Nope. Nothing like that. Nah. So, if the body had been dropped before the show, Mr. Elbert would have seen it. However, he had stated he did not see a body. Point A to point E. So it's impossible to think the body was dropped before the show. And after the show, the body was discovered in the workroom. In other words, the body being dropped down the well and then moved to the workroom could only have been done during the show. No. It Absolutely couldn't. Absolutely not. <laughs> Courtney, you're an idiot. And the only one who could have done it is Simon Keys. Stupid lady. No! Mr. Edgeworth, what, what should we do? Normally, I'm like a big advocate for like, yeah, like, girls and games. Woohoo. But like, this is the... She's, she's such a butt. Idiot. She's such a butt. She's an idiot in this case. If the body was moved for the well, this does put Mr. Keys at a major disadvantage. However, the notion that the body was moved through the well is only hop hypothesis. Hop, 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 hop. That doesn't mean there is evidence. I am <laughs> she started moving her mouth before the text came. She was like, keep it together, Courtney. <laughs> I am obligated to recognize that fact. Will you allow me to investigate the courtyard once more? I give my approval in the name of the goddess of law. Sweet. Reinvestigating the courtyard. I fear this may be our final chance. Huh? What? FIRE! Could, could be another prison break, pal! Sh should we evacuate? Everyone, please remain calm. This is just the signal for the evening meal. It's a little loud, so I can understand why you'd be surprised. It sure scared me. I love loud noises. I'm terribly sorry. Oh, they got another guard! <laughs> and with that, everyone, please return to your posts. Yes, ma'am. Jay Elbert, it's also time for you to return to your room. No dinner. Ah! Bah! I got it! Let's go, Rocky. Warden Roland, we will be proceeding to the courtyard for another investigation. Isn't it time for you to go home as well, Mr. Edgeworth? It looks like we're out of time. Why don't you continue this another time? But, I agree. But the investigation! Today's been a big day, right? With the escaped prisoner and all. So I'm afraid I can't let you outsiders like you loiter it around any longer. <sighs> this is my decision as the warden of this prison. Looks like it can't be helped. The warden's word can be called the law of the prison. Prosecutor Edgeworth, this means we will have to carry on our investigation another day. Until then, you may hold on to your prosecutor's badge and go out for ramen noodles. 
Taco Bell. No, not Taco Bell. Culver's. We are Culver's people. Edgeworth would go to Culver's. I mean, how could you not? How could anyone not go to Culver's? At it's Culver's it's the ultimate. It's perfect. <laughs> it literally has no flaws. <laughs> and with that, I leave you. She also you leaves. know Courtney's getting Culver's. Oh, yeah, she's getting Culver's. Sebastian goes to Burger King because he's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Now I think it's time you all left. Well, it looks like we'll have to continue the investigation tomorrow. That's fine. Knightley's body was dropped down the well, and was carried to the workroom from Mr. Elbert's cell. This is Judge Courtney's logic, but is it correct? And... Judge Courtney claims that Mr. Keyes transported him, but... Was Mr. Keyes really the only one with a chance to move him? Mr. Edgeworth, let's do our best tomorrow. We have to save Simon, no matter what! Indeed, I agree. I must prove Mr. Key's innocence without fail. <laughs> and then he's just the killer. To be great. To be continued. Do, do, do. Alright, that was a long Goodbye. recording session. I'm sorry, Marty. I thought that was going to be only an hour. It's fine. I'll, I'll manage. Okay. Tune in next time. We're at the end part two, which is the real finale. Sweet. So we'll investigate the courtyard. Look forward to that. Until we meet next time again, other friends. Blah, 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 blah. Bye, small game. <laughs> Potatoes. <laughs> Have a great day and God bless. What?